This is Capital Games. I am the Wiz. Today, I'm going to do something that me and Zero did a lot uh, towards the end when he was here, and that is go through sales projections on big games that are coming out throughout the week. I thought this was a dead week, and then something reminded me that there is a big game coming out this week, and it is Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and the Lost Demon. Now, forgive me for forgetting about this game, because when I first saw it on the Game Awards this past year, I really wasn't too thrilled with it. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, that could be an interesting $20, $30 game to put on the eShop. Okay, cool. And then when I learned it was a $60 game, I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that one. Like, I, I, I was very incredulous. I was like, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. That, that's not going to be something I'm going to be interested in. So uh, I personally lost interest in the game right away when I realized it was a $60 game. But what I've also heard, too, is that a lot of Bayonetta fans aren't exactly thrilled with it either. So well, I'm going to go over what I think the sales projections might be for this game and what possibly could happen towards with the, the game itself when it comes to when it comes to the business side and sales. So let's get started with Bayonetta Origins and what the reviews are like. The embargo broke, I believe, Monday or Tuesday on this game. And right now I am looking at Open Critic. We only use Open Critic because they do things evenly. Uh, they have it at a strong rating with an average of 79 for, for the top critics and 80% of critics recommend the game. So that rating isn't bad. It is... I guess when it comes to new games, that's technically average. I know some of you are thinking, isn't 50 average? Not with game reviews, unfortunately. A lot of gamers, when they look at reviews, they look at it as if it's an 80 or below, I'm waiting for a sale or I'm not just playing it at all. That's weird, I know, but that's just how it is, unfortunately. The reviews are decent, but not strong. For a title that I don't think Bayonetta fans are really thrilled with, especially since they just got Bayonetta 3 maybe about four or five months ago. So the talk about Bayonetta Origins has been either quiet or it's been mixed. Where some are like, yeah, it looks interesting, I'll try it. Or they're more along the lines of, yeah, not for me, thank you. So with that being said, let's look. We got the reviews, we got... oh. What this, let's look at the sales projections. I want to start off by pointing out how much money Bayonetta 3 made. And Bayonetta 3 has already sold, uh, according to Platinum Games, they announced on Twitter uh, in February that they've sold 1 million copies all over the world of Bayonetta, which is not bad, uh, or Bayonetta 3 specifically. So those aren't bad numbers, especially for a niche title like that. With that said, though, if we're looking at Bayonetta Origins, Bayonetta Origins is a game that is very different. Maybe not be very different, but they do different things in the game that they do with the other Bayonetta games. And the the talk around it with Bayonetta fans specifically when they saw that didn't really inspire confidence in me thinking that it was going to sell pretty well. In fact, I was convinced after I saw the $60 price point, it wasn't selling anything at all. And thinking this might be a dud of a game. That ha which may gain a cult following if the if people end up really liking the game, but I do not see this selling very well at all. But right now we have Bayonetta three. Right now it's in five months it got a million copies. I gotta be honest, I don't see Bayonetta Origins making a million copies. Period. I think the highest it will go will be the seventy five hundred seven hundred fifty thousand. 800,000 mark to a certain extent. I don't think it reaches a million copies. Un unless the word of mouth gets really hot for this game, but by looking at the reviews now, I, I don't think that's happening. Uh, let's look at another game that Platinum Games has done with Nintendo and the sales that it has, has gotten from there. Let's look at Astral Chain, okay? Astral Chain, as of December of 2019, sold over a million copies. Astral Chain came out, I believe, two years before that. 
So that's all okay in that. But the thing with Astral Chain is that it was a type of game that people were familiar with with when it came to Platinum Games. Bayonetta Origins, even though it is part of a brand that people are very familiar with when it comes to Platinum, is supposed to be pretty different in this. And the art style is different, and the feel and everything is different. I honestly do not think it's going to reach a million copies. I think the most it will reach is about 800,000. Unless Nintendo does the insane thing that they never do and drop the price of the game, I see this not getting there at all in that. Uh, I would say by year's end, we're looking at 500,000 for Bayonetta uh, Origins and Cereza, Cereza and the Lost Demon, which, again, a terrible name as well. But that is a long-ass title. I don't see, when it comes to the sales, it reaching that big of an amount. Also, the thing I should mention, too, is that marketing for this game is not great. I don't see any ads. I don't see a lot of YouTubers talking about it. I don't see a lot. I don't see Nintendo pushing it really. Like I see a, a, a marks of a game that is probably going to die pretty quick. I would be surprised if this game gets in the top twenty and I'm MPD. That that's how poorly I think this movie is. Uh, this game is going to be in this one. So I honestly think if you are interested in Beta Origins. I think this might be one of the few games that Nintendo sh slashes the price at, at some point. Let's say within a year. Like, I mean, if you really are interested and want to buy it, then buy it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. But something tells me that this game is not going to sell. And if you are interested slightly, uh, but you, you don't want to spend the 60, don't do it. But the reviews and everything it, it just doesn't seem like it's going to sell very well in this so I, I i'm i'm not very confident in bayonetta origins making a lot of sales and this might be the only spin-off you see of the bayonetta franchise they, they have talked about doing another bayonetta so that is more than possible but i don't see bayonetta origins tapping into that market very well that's my opinion at least uh that is it for this episode of capital games the next time you'll hear from me will be the Weekly Dividend. That's going to be interesting, me doing the Weekly Dividend by myself. So that's that's going to be fun, I think. So uh, tune into that on Friday. This is Capital Games. I am The Wiz. Talk to you next time. Bye.